What's the archway constructed out of? You can't tell. Okay. It's, so a, it's, it's a material you've never seen before. So I guess I'll turn to Flint. What did Slate say when he saw this? It blinded him. I don't know how, but we have to destroy this. Maybe not now, and definitely not through physical means, but we have to destroy this. What is it? I don't know. But it's ominous as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we should go convey that then. But to who? Well, first, the people we've been down here with. And then after that, I don't know. That's the one I'm more concerned with. We have to deal with this and Tempest now, apparently. Yeah, and I'm assuming leaving Graia and saying that we need to level Graia isn't going to really go over well. Can we level your holy place? That'd be great. Sure! Here's the nuke. <laughs> I mean, we do have an Inquisitor with us. Or Arbitrator. Arbitrator. But who's that going to convince? That's true. There's no way in hell we figured out to get a message off planet yet. If we did, you think they would save us? <sighs> if they could see what I just saw, I don't think anyone on world would get off alive. Oh. Well, that definitely changes things then. <clears throat> We're in a bit of a sticky pickle, eh? Yeah, I'd say so. <sighs> we need to find stuff. Anything we can take out of Graia in exchange for food. We need to get out of the desert. We need to report to Tempest. And we can move on from there. I don't trust him, but I also don't want him coming after us because we never checked back in. So do we just leave Graia in its current state or do we try and do something about this? Holy fuck, that is a big spider. <laughs> <laughs> Mercury says as a gigantic mechanical spider descends. Back to the combat screen. <laughs> <laughs> no, damn it. <laughs> Some of us are glad we stayed in the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the rattling of metal coming down Nightmares. the pipes of of the elevator. Ah, oh, balls! Oh, we're screwed. <laughs> you say, Quick, looking up. up. Fast well, up. <laughs> I am just glad that thing didn't drop down from the ceiling because you would have heard me scream like a girl and flail. That <laughs> thing was huge. I would have been, been so great. happy about that. Oh, you would have been happy, but uh, webcam's gone. Computer's that. halfway destroyed. All right, so, what are you guys doing? Anyways, back to that stuff. For now, it's back to the elevator. But we need supplies. We need anything we can trade for food. We'll never make it out of the desert without it. Well, we could always try going back to the treasure room. But with in our current condition? That's true. I'd suggest the armory, but we don't have the password, and I haven't the slightest idea where to find it. Well, should we stop the elevator at the treasure room? See if anything's there? Could 
wouldn't hurt too much. I mean, if anything's there, all we have to do is continue up or down. I say we make a couple passes while moving. If we don't see anything in that time, then we can make a stop. I can live with that. I'll go on ahead to scout. If there's anything, I'll have to double back. Yeah, one of us can move a lot faster than two. Yeah. Right, uh, so unless Flint has any objections, we're going to head back to the elevator. Would whoever Let's has the highest perception make a perception test for me? Uh. Perception or awareness? Perception. 42. Uh, minus 41. Flint and Mercury. And minus right. 41. You said Flint and Mercury? Yep. Yeah, between the two of them. Mine's oh. Not the people in the elevator. People walking back. Oh, oh, okay. So, sorry, what'd you say yours was, Danny? 41. 41? Oh, mine is the exact same. Alright, okay. well, one of you roll it. Hold on. Okay. What number do you want? One or two? Uh, two. I'm rolling. Okay. Stakes from Ed. Christ. <sighs> so your brain jams. <laughs> oh man, that was a 95, not a 96. <laughs> His brain's unreliable. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up, man. <laughs> I don't know, I find that statement to be highly accurate. So do I stand there? Below 30? And stare at the stun, sun, and just start drooling. <laughs> you stare at the gate and begin drooling. <laughs> that. Uh, okay, so you guys make it back to the elevator. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and start it up, and once it's on its way up, we'll convey our plans. Right, I'm just gonna uh, do regular up. Before we do that, everyone roll one d five, please. Uh. All right. Uh -huh. Wow. Wow, guys. It's like high number, high number, high number, and then blank. Big number. money, big money, big money. Gee, if only you guys had healer. I know, right? <laughs> Can I have green numbers in combat, please? When I'm rolling <laughs> damage? You don't want green numbers in combat unless you're... Oh, yeah, damage. That's... <laughs> I want all the green numbers in rolling damage. Alright, so you guys start heading up the elevator. Uh, okay then. Alright. Uh, Alright, uh, Slate, Joanna, Drex, we've decided we're going to head back to the armory. Do we really think it's been cleared out by now? Not a chance, but... The armory? Yes. I'm sorry, uh, the treasure room, sorry. Thank you. Comment still stands. Yeah. Uh, not a chance, but couldn't hurt to check. <clears throat> if it has, we need what it has. If it hasn't, we just have to spend more time looking elsewhere. Uh -huh. Joanna, do you still have the data slate that has the map on it? Or maps? I think... Uh, Pretty sure she handed it, it now, right? Oh, no, no, no. Because I, I had to hand it back to you because you wanted to... Lead us to the kitchen. Oh, yeah. So I'll pull it out. What are you looking for on the map? I don't know. What just, am I looking for on the map? I was just thinking. Didn't the Inquisitor say there was a way to maybe control this place? <coughs> I don't think it would be through a normal old data slide. It might, might be able to find the place that controls everything. Unless it was a stupid chair. Oh, worth a shot. I'll scan through Something again. to consider. I'll scan through the maps again. You don't find anything that says, like, control room or anything that would lead you to believe that you could control all of Gryah on the maps. Okay. Well, maybe we'll get lucky in the armory. Treasure room. 
also that. So, um, Joanna, Slate, Drex, you three stay on the elevator. We're going to make a quick pass of the treasure room uh, and not stop in case there's anything there, but we're going to keep our eyes peeled. Uh, if we don't see anything on the first pass, we're going to go back down, check again, and if we still don't see anything, we'll come back up for the third one and stop there. I'm going to go out to scout and Flint, if you wouldn't mind following shortly behind me, in case I need backup or someone to drag my ass to safety. I Does this do move slowly enough for us to get a good look? It moves at three floors a second, so mm -hmm. it's not going to be a great look, but it'll be if it, we'll have to make do with it. All right. All right. So whoever has the highest awareness, roll. Uh, you're doing three passes before you stop. Uh, two passes because we're going up, down, right. and then. And whoever so. has the highest awareness, roll two awareness tests. Mine's oh. sixty-one. Mine's Shit! One I can't beat that. Forty-one. <laughs> Fifty-two. <clears throat> so you said roll two. Yeah, awareness test minus twenty for the speed of the elevator. How the hell did you get it up that high? Uh, my perception and awareness plus 20. Oh, right, awareness. Right, I knew that. Damn. Close. Went again. Oh, I look again. Sorry. Well, you're doing two oh. passes, right? Second right. pass. Nice. There we go. <laughs> On the first pass by, you don't see anything that looks even remotely threatening. Uh, on the second pass, you you feel like you you might have seen the glimmer of the cannon um, from the man with the cannon arm that you saw last time behind the doorway. But it could just be orbital wobble. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> Damn, that's what you get on 3.8 degrees of success. Orbital well, to be fair, orbital. we're moving like 27 meters yeah, that's true. per second. You guys are screaming looking, by. Yeah. Well, can I moving 27 for... meters per second, and I think I'm looking, what, 10 meters out? Mm -hmm. well, everyone so. cr it, There's nothing to crowd behind. It's literally just a... There's not even a door anymore. Oh, uh -huh. uh, yeah. Here's this thing's ripped it off. Well, we, let's just do a quick stop, um, and, you know, someone keep yeah. their hand on the lever. What does the floor of the elevator look like? Just the... There's no floor! Um... It wouldn't be plascrete, but it's just... It's it's like a hard ceramic floor. So it's, sol it's solid? Yes, it's a solid floor. Uh... Never mind then. Obviously seeing much use from just moving freight in and out of it. Hmm. Right. Are there any are there any kind of gaps between the elevator and the floors? What do you mean? Like, obviously there's room for the door on the elevator, but are there doors like for each floor? No, it's just the elevator. And there's no like gap between the elevator door and then the floor itself. Like an inch gap, maybe. Not enough for big. So not enough for a person. Okay. Never mind then. Trying to think of ways to get around that. <laughs> Having to stop on the floor, because, you know, I'd like to not die. Well, we can still just do a quick stop, and then if we see anything, someone keep their hand on the lever. Right. Anyways, so... Uh, Flint, I'm not certain, but I'm fairly sure I saw the thing that attacked us last time behind the door. At least one of them still in the treasure room. Good. Oh, here's the thought. Could we stop a couple floors up, and then maybe I can peek into the veil? We're only a couple of floors down, so we can do the same thing. That works. We can do it that way too. So, do you want to suggest that before we? Uh, I tried it, didn't work. <laughs> There's so much 
there's so many dancing embers in the vast pool of white energy that surrounds you, you can't get a clear reading. Are there stairs leading between the floors, or just the elevator? And, sorry, stairs within a close distance, obviously. I don't want to walk to the other side of Grya pick some stairs down. I assume he asks Devin. Yeah, I'll, I'll look it up on the slate. Um, there, for, mo for the most part, there are stairs between levels, although it seems this level is isolated. Hmm. Well, long shot. Anything interesting on this floor? Take a look. Similar as in how. What? What did you say? Worth a shot. I said... I said it's a long shot, but is there anything of interest on this floor? No, not particularly. Not unless you like offices. <laughs> oh, Do I, I love offices! Well, nothing. Yeah. <coughs> uh, checking... Well, I guess Joanna's checking the slate, so I'll ask her. Other than the treasure room and the armory, is there anything else labeled on here? There are lots of things labeled on there. Anything of interest? Uh, go back to that so I can read you all the, like, 90 things again. Woo! You know what? You could just uh, copy and paste into, like, a handout or something. No, fucking remember things. Yeah, but 90 things, but yeah, like that's going to happen. You said 90 things. I just like 90 things. It's like 87 or something. <laughs> ah, my leg. There are multiple survey rooms, astropathic rooms, the brig, multiple hospital wings, um, a litany of offices... Um, refineries, forges. Yeah, that's basically it. We could check one of the forges at. By the way, is uh, Joanna conveying this information, or am I able to read it? Or I don't care. Is it's all listed off as I'm going through it, but we could okay. check one of the forges at. We could check a forge, a refinery, and we definitely need to check it. Check another hospital. Uh, it's on almost all the hospitals. Like, oh, all the hospitals that you've gone through, they're all listed as having been emptied. Ah. Uh, okay, so the hospitals are all empty. Um, how frequent are the kitchens? Uh, every few floors. Every few floors. Uh, I suggest first, since we're not getting into the treasure room, we attempt to get into another kitchen and see if there's anything so we don't have to dip into our food supply again. Not a bad idea. I can agree with that. Let's do it. Preferably a little ways away from the treasure room just that if anything was alerted to us moving it takes longer for them to potentially get to us <clears throat> so you guys move to another floor that has a kitchen on it yes you guys move to another floor that has a kitchen on it Yay. you guys make your way towards the kitchen it's in a very plain building. You enter the kitchen. What do you want to do? Steal all the things. Steal <gasps> all the things. You get a pickaxe and you start breaking down the plascrete. Plascrete. So much plascrete. We can sell this stuff, guys. Any, any, anything you guys well, want to do? Well, here? Slate and I can't see, so it's yeah. up to us. Yeah. So I guess. At the very least, I'll lead one of them into the uh, kitchen. Okay. Don't care if it's Joanna or Slate, but okay. do my duty. Okay. 
right? Um, I'm going to search for anything, canned food, like a refrigerator that might work, um, faucets that I might have water, potable water. Okay. Roll it up. Is that just a search? Mm-hmm. All right. Would anyone like to assist me in this search, or is it just me? Would anyone, meaning only Flint? <laughs> I will. I will gladly assist you in your search. Okay. And we both said that we have 41 perception? Mm-hmm. All right. Do I get a plus 10 for him assisting me? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's how you do it. Mercury's eyes jam. Yay. Too bad Mercury died in the kitchen. Only Flint can notice this, but Mercury's eyes go wall-eyed and then cross-eyed <laughs> and then wall-eyed again, and then he just collapses. Do I actually collapse? No. Okay. But you don't find anything. Yeah. The two of you search for like an hour and you don't find anything. All right, so no more canned food. Not, do we not even um, like faucets or anything? You turn on faucets and nothing comes out. All right. Uh, how many floors away is the nearest refinery or forge? Uh, 20. Down. 20? 20 down? Is there another kitchen between here and there? No. There's a kitchen after it. There's a kitchen after it? Alright. Uh, is it a refinery or a forge? Or both? It's a, it's a refinery. Refinery? Alright. Alright, well, nothing here. Let's head down to the refinery. Unless anyone has... Anything against that? Nope. Being that I can't see go? anything, uh, mm -hmm. you guys lead the way. Alright, you guys make it down to the refinery. It's a very large structure that takes up the entire floor as its own. There are many uh, uh, kilns, ovens, um, smelting areas littered around the, the entire level. Along with... Uh, Boxes and thick metal, uh, like shipping crates for moving materials about. Um, okay, I guess um, I'll start searching around to see if any of them aren't empty. How much time have we spent going up and down in the elevators? Not much, because we only went down 20 floors, and that's uh, 7 seconds. Well, I mean, like, from the hospital that we were in earlier... It's probably been a little over an hour since he left the hospital. Okay. Actually, wait, where was the treasury again? Because you went to the treasure room, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We did go to the... Oh, well, we no, went to the hospital the 3, down to the park. Yeah, and you went oh, from the hospital down. Oh, it's only on the 3,000th floor. That's not yeah. that far. So yeah, a little, like, two hours. Okay. Cool. <coughs> yeah, that's longer. So. Including the searching that you did the last hour. Mm hmm So, make your, uh, make your search. Uh, I'll ask again. Is anyone assisting in this search? Uh, sure can will. We, can we see in this room? Nope. Probably not. Good. I know. Alright. That's well, mainly to Danny, but... Mm-hmm. Nice. Um, you find a, a crate filled with uh, iron ingots. Uh, how heavy is each ingot? <laughs> each ingot is five kilograms. Alright. That is a hefty amount of iron. You said it's filled with them? Mm-hmm. How big is the crate? Uh, it's probably, like, a little bit bigger than a square meter. Can the crate fit in the elevator with us? It'd be uncomfortable, but yes, it could. Uh, how large is each ingot if it's five kilograms? Like a 
a little less than a, not a square foot, but like a rectangular foot. And gets are pretty hefty, gotta mm -hmm. say. If they weigh that much, we could use it as a bludgeoned weapon. Good. You said it's just over a meter? The box? The yeah. box? Okay. So, no. Unless we can find an easy way to transport them in here. Aside just hauling around a goddamn box. Let's put Flint's back into it. Well, the <laughs> box it. itself is about 5,000 kilograms. Oh, well, so. we, I'm okay. not talking about taking the whole thing. But yeah. No, no. Well, it. I was. I was think depending on how big the box was, I was thinking we might just... Because you can push a whole lot more than you can carry. Yeah, so. but if we're go trying to go out the way we came, that shit isn't happening. I could one at a time if we just get someone up there to hold it open, but yeah, no, it, generally no, it's not. But, um... <coughs> Alright, well, how much can everyone carry, roughly? Is there somewhere on the sheet that says that? It's well, yeah. What's your toughness and what's your strength bonus? Here, toughness bonus and strength would be up to seven combined. Then you can carry forty-five kilograms. Okay. With your armor included and your yeah. weapon and all the shit you're already. It's carrying. including everything on your person. Right. So I'm pretty. Uh, I've got a lot of weight right now. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody, Anybody else, else want to give a more specific answer? I don't know why we want to carry ingots on <clears throat> Briar. Yeah. Because we have no money and no food and we have to get out of the desert? That's also, fair. Also... Iron ingots are valuable. I don't know why they would be valuable, though. Because they're pure iron, ready to get worked. Do you want to spend a couple hours forging it into a sword so you can sell that? Does any of us know how to do that? No, no. I'm giving him shit because he's stupid. <laughs> well, you want to carry all of them, by all means. I can only carry so many, which is why I'm asking. I think I can carry three. I wouldn't chance it. I'd probably only go for two, but... There's got to be something better. Okay, well, in the meantime, would you like to have the only thing we have found? Well, I mean, d we can always come back here, but there's got to be something better than weighty chunks of metal. I mean, we're in a we're in a forge city. Would you like Danny. to spend another hour searching? Well, seeing as no one's biting for this, I might as well. Okay. <gasps> Flint, are you helping? I always am. <gasps> exact same number. 
Uh, you find a small crate of Gryan coins. Or not a crate, a bag of Gryan coins. Alright. How heavy is the bag? Three kilograms. Alright. Any idea what the coins are made out of, or is it just it's a metal coin? It's a, it's a very nicely polished metal coin. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and bag that. Coins from a holy city. We'll be able to sell that. Mark just pockets that before anyone sees it. Mm. <laughs> so, well, the only other person, the only other person who could have seen it is Flint, and mm -hmm. 